Hello and welcome to Not So Awesome Review and today we're looking at the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Zelda action figure by Jack Pacific. This is part of their new Nintendo line. I'm not calling it again World of Nintendo because it doesn't say it on the box, but it is Legend of Zelda. It is from Breath of the Wild and yeah, I actually meant to have this video out last week, so apologies for that. Just got around to it now, been a little busy. But yeah, I'm going to try and keep this shorter than the last one for Link, which if you guys want to check out the review for Link from the same line, that is my last video up, and I will try to link it in the description, but no promises, I'm probably going to end up forgetting anyway. But yeah, anyways, let's just get into it. So first off, this figure does come with the Sheikah Slates, which you can see here looks good enough. It has a sticker for the uh, little screen there and everything. It's not too elaborate but it is a nice looking piece and really not much else to say about it other than it looks cool and you can also hang it on her belt uh, it doesn't stay the greatest but it does have the hook right there and you can hang it on link's belt as well if you want to again it just it won't stay too well but for posing wise it works out pretty good so anyways a lot like link this figure exceeded my expectations in a lot of ways but it wasn't as good as him, and I'll get to that in a second why, but we're going to talk aesthetics first. And aesthetics blows a lot of figures out of the water. They did a really good job with the molding, with all of the uh, just little details of her uh, clothing. I was going to say uniform, but it's not really a uniform, is it? Uh, I don't know. Either way, <laughs> the, uh, the mold lines just in the body alone that you can't really see too much because the paint job is a little lacking when it comes to you know any type of uh wash or detail or anything but it's there you can see it it looks good the paint apps came out really really nice the gold on her painted nice the silver on her boots everything about this figure aesthetic wise it screams almost premium figure aside from her face i do feel like her skin tone a lot like lynx's is a little bit off it's um i don't know if it's just that it needs a matte coating or it's because it's one solid color. I, I don't know, something about it just throws me off just a little bit. It's not bad, the mold is there, but I, I don't know, something about it throws me off. Also, I feel like her head should be just slightly higher because she really doesn't have a neck, but that could just be me. Either way, aesthetic-wise, for a Jax figure, for a $10 figure, perfect, can't complain about it. Just, I, I absolutely love the figure, honestly. I was just, blown away from when I opened it. It's, it's just, it, it's really good. It's for, again, a $10 figure. Amazing. So getting down to the figure itself, gonna put this aside. But like I said, sticker front and back. There is some molding like on the handle and everything. I wish that the Sheikah Slate itself was molded, but I mean, it is a screen, so it wouldn't make any sense for it to have uh, any mold lines on it. And again, you can just hang it on there if you want to, but it's not going to hang very well uh just putting that out there and i do want to mention just going to grab the broadsword that came with link you can fit it in her right hand if you want to give her a weapon you can see it's a little bit loose but it, it does the job on her uh well, i guess that's her left hand on her right hand not so much it's more of an open hand unfortunately you could probably balance it if you really wanted to um and you you know put in the effort and work behind the camera but uh yeah, it's it's not really going to work out too much, which again, unfortunate. I do wish she came with at least a bow and arrow or something else too, but um, it's fine. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't remember. She had the light arrows at the end of the game, right? Right? I'm not just like thinking that in my head. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on to the uh, articulation itself, which again, like Link, is really good. The only thing she's actually missing to make this figure, I guess, perfect is uh, she doesn't have the elbow rotation Link does. Link has a arm cut right there, kind of a cut. It's uh, this right here. He has that, again, Figma weapons, but yeah, he has that rotation at the arm. Unfortunately, she doesn't have it. Not being like a super big fighter, I guess it doesn't matter as much, but again, I do like the option. It would have been nice if they just cut the arm right there, put the thing and just, you know, gave us a uh, arm rotation, but it is what it is. Anyways, head can look left and right, and there is somewhat of a pivot, somewhat back and forth. Her long hair does kind of get in the way. It is rubbery, but, you know, just it is where it is. It gets a little bit in the way. Again, like I said, I feel like she has no neck. Part of it probably is because there is a little bit overspray of her shirt collar on her neck too, so that doesn't help, but... Aside from that, you know, head movement is decent enough. Body movement left, right. 
a little bit up and down, but not really. It's it's there. It wants to be there, but it's just lacking ever so slightly, which again isn't too big of a deal. I wish it could move a little bit more, but ten bucks again, not gonna complain. Arms can go up really well, down, rotate all the way around. As you saw, she does have double jointed elbows. She's a female figure, double jointed elbows. Need I say more? Some other companies need to get on board with that. But yeah, that's that's honestly awesome. Again, I just wish she had that arm rotation. Just has a swivel at the wrist. Has, has, yeah, she, she does have, have, that's the word. A swivel at the wrist rotation. You can see they even did detailing on the glove. You can see one, two, three, four little dots where her knuckles are in gold. Again, just detail wise, even the bag there, man, it's just like, the more I look at it, the more I find things. And I've had this in my hands for like a week. I like to make sure when I do a review, I, I mess with the figure long enough so that I, I'm familiar with it and I can give like a good review and not just kind of uh, bullshit my way through it. But even right now, just looking at it, I'm like just barely noticing this probably because of the light and everything. But yeah, awesome figure. <laughs> she does have a nice butt. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's a little bit weird to say, but yeah, she, she actually has a pretty big butt right there, which is kind of funny. Link, um, flat butt, nothing there. Her, yeah, you can see the difference. They knew what they were doing when they molded this. I just pointed it out there. It is where it is. Legs can go out that much can kick forward that much not too much can't really kick back double jointed knees to do pretty darn good again no lower leg rotation you can kind of shift it a little bit but not not really you can see where uh the plastic does kind of want to start scratching right there so be a little bit careful you know don't force anything but it's not too noticeable it, it sucks because i feel like they could have added a second rotation down here but the fact that they gave us double jointed knees stops that from happening. Um, I don't know how well the double jointed knees are going to do because of the fact that her legs can't go forward too much. I'm sure someone, if you really wanted to, could cut a little bit out there, get her leg going forward. Not something I'm going to do unless I buy a second one, which if I, if I see one, I probably will and I'll try and mod it. But for now, um, yeah, it's decent. I like that it's there, but... The fact that her feet can't go forward kind of negates it because we can't really even get into a real sitting pose or anything like that. So if you wanted to, you probably could do something like cross leg. Eh, can't even really. So yeah, the double joint knee, although it's good and I like that they're doing it, um, it's limited in posing to something like running, kind of. Because again, just the way the crotch piece is does hinder it. A little bit but yeah she can move her foot back and forward and side to side a little bit does have that toe hinge right there again the silver on there is just done so nice and the gold just yeah for a ten dollar figure uh i absolutely love it again the face a little bit off to me i don't know if it's just the head feels a little bit too big i mean if i pop it off put it back on just a little bit and don't put it in all the way i do feel like it looks a little bit better because it doesn't fit so low. Um, it could just be the collar or something to me. But yeah, when I have the head sitting up a little bit higher than pushed in all the way where it's like that. I don't know. Again, it just feels off. Though I know in the game she does have that higher collar and everything. It doesn't show too much of her neck. I still feel like, I don't know, something seems off to me. It could just be a personal thing. But she is pretty accurate and I love it. Um, honestly, I want to make a little cloak for her, like the, uh, the trailer for Tears of the Kingdom, which just came out, like the trailer for it just came out today as I'm recording this and I'm really excited for it. And I said, yeah, I, I got to review this figure and I want to take some more photos of it and post it and everything. Getting her to stand, uh, it's, it's all right. Her, her hair is a little bit back heavy, but not, you know, too much where it gets, you know, in the way a lot for a size comparison with Link. Which, again, he's holding the Figma Link's weapons. I'm um, just going to put the shield down. They're a little bit small because it is the uh, Link Between Worlds one. But, yeah, you can see here she is shorter than Link. And I love that because it means that they are thinking about scale with these figures. They're not just making them all the same size. Which some companies do kind of tend to do sometimes. We'll get, like... 
a line of figures and every figure is the exact same size even though they should vary from different things. The fact that they went out of their way to make sure that she's just a little bit shorter than Link, I like it. <laughs> I'm not really going to say much else about that, but I am going to lean up here and grab a quick Figma figure of Asuna. So you can see here the uh, the height difference. I believe the Sword Art Online ones are a little bit shorter just because they are supposed to be younger. So, you know, they, they're a little bit smaller figures. Figma just runs smaller anyways for the uh, 112 scale. But you can see when it comes to Figma type figures, they'll fit in pretty good. Link there is taller than Asuna and uh, she's more or less the same height, maybe just a little bit taller than Zelda. So, yeah, <laughs> do with that information what you will. Um, looks good enough to me. So that'll pretty much do it for my Zelda figure review. But I did want to add a few things that, although it makes sense, just promotional wise, that this is the Link and the Zelda that we would be getting right now because Tears of the Kingdom and everything. It's just a good, smart idea to do this version of Zelda just in general because she doesn't have that skirt kind of getting in the way of her legs. I feel like in the future, if we get an Ocarina of Time version of her or anyone where she's in her dress, her legs are probably going to be hindered really badly. Even if they give us like softer plastic, I doubt they would ever do soft goods. So yeah, I, I like that we have kind of an action version of her. And I wouldn't mind having a few different versions of her uh, from Breath of the Wild, like when she has that white kind of dress thing going on. Um, it, it getting, again, like an Ocarina of Time version or any other version of her. I really hope they expand and just make a bunch of Legend of Zelda figures. I, I know a lot of people are calling this, again, the World of Nintendo Wave. It's not in the box, so yeah, I, I know they're making other Nintendo figures, but I'm hoping that that's not gonna limit them to making just a complete Zelda line like they have with Mario. There's a Mario line. He's not just World of Nintendo Mario, it's just here are all the Mario figures. Same with the Sonic figures. Uh, it's not Nintendo, it's Sega, but you, you gotta get what I'm going with here. A Zelda line, a Legend of Zelda line where we get enemies and get all that is something I'm really hoping for. Uh, again, this figure it is really, really good. For a $10 figure, all she's missing compared to Link, again, is that arm swivel. Again, she's not very action oriented, but it would have been nice to have. And her legs being a little bit limited just because of the way they did the front of her crotch, <laughs> I guess. There's really no other way to say it. It's a little disappointing. And again, if I get another one, I'm probably going to shave that down a little bit to see if I can get her to have a little bit more uh, feet movement so we can get you know, maybe like just at least a sitting pose. I, I would really like that. Uh, aside from that, sculpt work is great. Paint work is great. Likeness to the game character, amazing. Jax knows what they're doing when it comes to making video game characters. I say it essentially every time I do a Sonic review and it's translating to this. So I'm really loving it. I'm loving the upgrades from the, the older stuff they used to do with the Legend of Zelda figures. They were always more of a miss than a hit. So I'm glad to see them tackling it again. And uh, I'm really excited to see where they go from this. I do have the Samus now. When I did my last review, I didn't have it. I mentioned that, but I did pick her up. Figures... It's all right. It's a little bit of a disappointment. I feel like it's the worst of the three. We'll get to that next, hopefully very soon. So be on the lookout for that review. But yeah, let me know your guys' thought on this figure. I, again, I recommend it. I would say pick it up if you're having trouble finding it. It is on Walmart's website. Currently not in stock for shipping, but at least you can bookmark it, check it back and see. Hopefully it'll go up and it'll be at retail. Yeah, really not much else to say. Other than, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.